Watch the openness. Who is that? I don't know. Who is he? He's the one speaking to you. And he worshiped him. So he starts off blind, ends up excluded from the religious people, but has moved all the way into the worship of Jesus. And now this is a story, but the story would suggest he completed the spiritual journey in the story. And the religious people had no place for him. He completes the journey all the way into worshiping in the presence of Jesus. You understand we have a hungry, hungry, hungry world. You understand that spirituality is all around us, all over the place. Much of it confused, but hungry hungry. The world is looking for people who know God but don't think they know everything. People who know some things of God and have come to know God and that, that has brought them into a relationship that has changed them to make them something like God and they are open and willing to be present with people where they are. No blame. No, it's your fault. No, I know the answers, and if you, don't, if you don't, I know the questions and the answers, and if you don't answer the questions right, you're out. Jesus models this astonishingly different approach to who God is and what's going on. What would it mean to consent to every moment as the moment God gave you. And to open oneself in that moment to what God might be doing. To be willing to let go of what I know to discover what I don't know in the moment. To be open to the inbreaking of the light in whatever moment it is. Amen. Please stand as we confess our.